This is number 26 from the 2022 Algebra 1 EOC. The table shows the value in dollars of a motorcycle at the end of X years, which exponential function models the situation. So the first thing I notice is that we're dealing with an exponential function, and you could definitely solve this with the stat function on the graphing calculator, but I'm gonna show you an easy way to do this pretty quick. So the first thing I'm gonna look for is what is the starting amount? So at zero years, we have $9,000. So we should have 9,000 at the start of our function. Letter H and J do not, so we're gonna go ahead and mark those out. Next, I'm gonna to look to see, is our function increasing or decreasing? So as the years go on, we can clearly tell that our function is decreasing because the dollar amount is going down. So that means that our number inside of the parentheses has to be less than one. So looking between F and G, I can see that letter G has 0.9, which is less than one. So letter G is our answer. This is number 27 from the 2022 Algebra 1 EOC. What is the positive solution to X squared plus 9X minus 22 equals zero? So we're gonna go ahead and factor this out. And so I know that I need two numbers that multiply to negative 22 and add to nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my X in both sets of parentheses because I know that X times X is gonna equal X squared. Now from here, let's go ahead and factor out 22. So I know that one times 22 will equal 22 and also two times 11. Now, if I go ahead and make the two negative, negative two times 11 is negative 22. And if we add them, it's gonna equal positive nine. So I'm gonna put in minus two and then plus 11. Now, since our trinomial is set equal to zero, in order for that to be true, one of these sets of parentheses has to equal zero. So our solutions would be x equals two and x equals negative 11 because that would make each parentheses equal to zero. Now, they just wanna know the positive solution, so obviously our answer is x equals positive two. This is number 28 from the 2022 Algebra One EOC. A university will spend at most $4,500 to buy monitors and keyboards for a computer lab. Each monitor will cost $250, and each keyboard will cost $50. Which inequality represents all possible combinations of X, the number of monitors, and Y, the number of keyboards, the university can buy for the computer lab? So the first thing I'm looking at is that each monitor will cost $250, and they tell us that monitors are represented by the letter X. So we're gonna put 250 times X to start our inequality. Then I see that each keyboard is $50 and keyboards are represented by Y. So we're going to add 50 times Y. And so far we have 250X plus 50Y. So we can go ahead and eliminate H and J. The last part of our inequality is gonna to pertain to spending at most $4,500. So at most, meaning the most we could spend is $4,500 and that's gonna be a less than or equal to sign, and so our correct answer should be letter G. This is number 29 from the 2022 Algebra One EOC. A construction manager is monitoring the progress of the build of a new house. The scatter plot and table show the number of months since the start of the build and the percentage of the house still left to build. A linear function can be used to model this relationship. Which function best models the data? So just by looking at the graph or the table, I can tell right away that our y-intercept should be really close to 100, okay? Because we have a point right on 100 there, and also in the table, we have a point at zero, 100. So looking at my equations, there's only one answer choice that has a y-intercept anywhere close to 100, and that's gonna be letter A because it's 97.8, so I'm gonna pick letter A. This is number 30 from the 2022 Algebra 1 EOC. Given f of x is equal to x squared minus 36, which statement is true? So I know that this is a difference of squares, and so I'm going to go ahead and write this out in its factored form. So I'm gonna put my two sets parentheses, and I know that I'm gonna have x and x because x times x is x squared. And then I know that to get minus 36, I'm gonna have a plus and a minus or negative six because six times negative six is negative 36, okay? So if I go down and look at my answer choices, my zeros are gonna be negative six and six, so my answer is letter H.